are still feeling the impact of the nuclear accident nearly four and a half years ago. About 45,000 of them continue to live away from their homes. Their plight has drawn the attention of a group of high school students from France, the country that depends most heavily on nuclear power. NHK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa has the story. 20 high school students from France and the local area headed for Tomioka town. 10 kilometers away from the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. I also like to live dangerous. <laughs> Sorry. The town remains a restricted zone and nobody is yet allowed to live here. The area is being used as an initial storage site for radioactive waste. The students had already studied the aftermath of the accident in 2011. But this was the first time they were able to take a close look. There's really a lot of waste. I also spotted considerable amounts on our way here. I wonder where the final disposal sites will be to put this much waste. It can be easy to clear them all. Clemon Gyarde was among the students who were eager to visit Fukushima. Nuclear power plants are important for France. People talk a lot about them. It's interesting to get first-hand knowledge of the damage nuclear accidents can cause. The accident has hit local businesses hard. Fukushima Prefecture is a major producer of peaches, but sales are not yet back to normal. The students visited farmers in Kunimi town to hear directly about their effort to put their businesses back on track. What is the impact after the Fukushima accident in your job? Our peaches didn't sell for the first couple of years because of groundless rumors, even though our products were safe. It's a trap! You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. The students went back to school to check for themselves how high the radiation level of peaches from the prefecture is. Japan set the standard of 100 becquerels per kilogram for farm products to be sold for eating. The students found out that radioactive cesium was below the detectable level. Such data is hard to come by. I believe that's why people are afraid. The Japanese students also learned more about the accident and nuclear power through their interaction with their French friends. French students know both the good side and the bad side of nuclear power plants. I was impressed to know that they look at them from technological and economic aspects. On the last day of the workshop, students made presentations to sum up what they learned. The product quality is really high, but tourists fear the product because of rumors. The students came to understand that nuclear disasters were not only about radiation or radioactive waste, but about severe spillover damage like concerns influenced by unconfirmed information. I was deeply touched by meeting people here directly and seeing the real sights. Because I could really see the significance of the accident. I'll tell my friends and others around me about the real situation here. People in Fukushima will have to deal with the impact of the accident for decades to come. But these students have found some clues for improving the lives of local people 
and lessons from the accident that they want to share with people in the rest of the world. Mitsuko Nishikawa, NHK World, Fukushima.